So y'all, I'm gonna talk about this. So um, y'all remember I kept telling y'all I'm gonna put a video up with the Ken and Marquez, right? So now Ken wanna come out crying, spazzing out on Facebook, talking about uh, Marquez was the one who started all this. No, baby, you started this from Trump. Did Marquez throw shades? Yes, but after you and your girlfriend started it so he came out after the reunion and said something to the effect uh dead beat baby daddy's worst nightmare so now when marquez clapped back he on here going crazy y'all and coming after melameters like what are we doing we need a check for 2024 so he so marquez uh marquez says and this coming from a ninja who can't have kids money doesn't make you father and it can't buy you dna we are not the same. Hashtag, you are not the father. <laughs> I mean, this was hilarious. He also posted this on his um Instagram. Money doesn't make you a father. Play your role. <clears throat> Y'all, Ken went live on his Facebook. Y'all go over there. It's there. And was dragging everybody, and including the Melameter, into the chat group. Like, y'all, what do y'all do? Sit around and talk about us? Y'all, I'm going to post it here. Please listen to the entire video. with nobody I'm happy You know, I, you know, I don't even get down like this for real, bro. You know, I don't, you know, I don't even do that social media stuff like that. I think motherfuckers, they need to get on TV. They forget who I really am. to make 
take none of this shit up. None of it. I'm too busy getting money and taking care of my family, bro. I ain't got to make up nothing. I ain't got to lie on nobody. I ain't got to make shit up about nobody. I ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't really even the type of person that that even like to go back and forth with no other man. That shit too much like, like some feminine shit to me. But I guess this the only effective form of communication that this nigga likes, so. He can't talk man to man. He's scared to walk up my driveway. He's scared to come to my house. He come to the house. He got to goddamn talk to the kids in the street and shit because he's scared to come up the driveway. But he tough on social media, though. That's how it always be, though. Social media is nothing merely but a platform for people to be fake. That's it. And I don't understand it, like, because I don't mess with nobody. I don't really, I'm the type of person that shit, I give you everything. You, know, I, you ain't got to, you know, I don't have hate for nobody, man. I, I stay in my lane, mind my own damn business. But when you keep coming for me on the internet, and you keep trying to talk bad on my name, and you keep saying all this weird shit, I got to goddamn, I got to defend myself at some point. At some point, I got to defend myself. At some point, enough got to be enough. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, on, on the show, I, I talk, I'm politically correct. But in real life, I'm a nigga. Like, <laughs> I, I try my best not to take it to that type of time with dude. But he just really don't know. He just really don't know what type of shit he, get, he can get himself into. And the only reason why I don't really take it to the extreme with Buddy is because of the kids, man. I respect the kids more than anything. I, I got too much respect for Zari and Xavier and, and, and Trish than to do something to do, cause then you know, then it's gonna create a, uh, it's gonna create like negativity in my home, man. I don't want none of that. I want everybody to wake up happy, go to sleep happy, and do that shit over and over and over again. But somehow this goddamn weird ass dude like to keep bringing up my damn name. Like, I don't get how, if your main focus is your kids, hear me out now, correct me if I'm wrong. If a person's main focus is their kids, or if your kids are is your main focus, why the hell are you always talking about me, bro? Why are you always talking about me? I don't talk about you. I wake up every day and you are not even a thought. Like, I don't even talk about buddy. I don't say nothing about him. Only time he come up is when it's pertaining to the show or when it's pertaining to something that got to do with these goddamn kids. So it's like, and the reason why I try to be, you know, somewhat kosher with him because y'all going to be like, oh, you big, you a bully. You just bullying that man. Did he think about that? Not me being big and me being who I am before he started the shit. Ask yourself that question. Did he think about me being big and me being, 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 being bad before he started picking at me? You know you poked the bear. You know what happened when you poked the bear. Eventually your ass get bit. And you can't play the victim when you was poking that motherfucker and you was poking that motherfucker and he bit your ass. Like, if y'all really keep up with this shit, if y'all really watching this shit and this show shit, I'm a cool ass dude. I'm a cool ass dude. I don't get out of character. I don't let none of this shit phase me. I don't really, I, I don't even really like entertain the shit that he say most of the time. And I really don't like going into this social media shit because like I said before, man, I feel like this shit lame as hell. I feel like two men should be able to come together and, and, and hash shit out. First of all, Nigga, you should respect me. That nigga should be bound down to me gracefully. Bro, I'm taking care of your motherfucking kids. I'm doing everything you couldn't fucking do. I've created a safe space for Trisha. I've created a safe space for her to be able to wake up every day and not wonder what she's going to do from one moment to the next. She ain't even got to think for herself. Before she done already thunk it, I done already did it. This real life ain't... And it ain't just financially, it's mentally. Mentally, she she's at peace. 
You know what I'm saying? She knows she got a good support. These kids know they got a good support. I support Xavier and everything he do. I support Zarya and everything she do. If you talk to your kids so much, why you can't know? Why you don't know what time she go to dance? What time she get out of dance? You make the excuse that every time you try to call Trisha and get her, she busy. Motherfucker, cause she is. She go to school from eight to two thirty. She get out of out of, out of school Monday through Thursday. She go to dance most of the times from four thirty, four forty five to about seven thirty to eight eight thirty. Matter of fact, I just picked her ass up. That's what took me so long to get on this live. I had to go pick her up from Dan. Where you at, nigga? Come, come, come share these responsibilities sometimes, man. Ain't nobody stopping you from being in your kid's life, man. There's not a nigga on this planet, bro. You seen y'all heard the story, of David and Goliath? Goliath has to get beat the fuck up. He tried to step in my house and try to take care of my. Tell me, oh, I, my kids now. What? That don't even make sense. No nigga can walk in my house and be like, this is my family now. What? That's that's absurd. Nigga, you, I'm appalled. Nigga, you can't. What? I took your family, bro. If I just came and took your family like that, you a whole ass nigga, bro. It just is what it is. You a whole ass nigga. And, and bro, here's the thing. I, I I know a lot more about this nigga than I, and I I try my best not to goddamn get on these motherfucking apps, you know, and 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 and, and put folks' business out there. But bro, you you want to talk about this Diddy shit? Hey, wasn't it a video going around of you on uh, um, partaking in some Diddy activities, my nigga? Oh, you forgot about them though. You oh you ain't think I knew. You you ain't think I knew. Bro, stop playing with me, bro. You ain't in Atlanta for no reason. Nigga, you could come right to Huntsville and be by your kids, but you in Atlanta. You ain't got no job. What the fuck you in Atlanta for? It's hella jobs here in Huntsville where you can be close to your kids. What you in Atlanta for? And you forget, nigga, I'm, I'm, bro, you, you talk all that shit about I ain't got, I, I ain't got no lineage. Nigga, I'm known everywhere. Atlanta? Bro, you know how many heads I got in Atlanta? I think I know where you be. I know where you stay. I know where you what, what clubs you go to. I know exactly what you do, bro. I don't mess with you, though. I try to make life easier for you. I try to take care of these kids so they ain't got to worry about you not being able to do it. Yeah, my boy. My boy about 40. Can't keep a job. Nigga can't stop smoking weed. Nigga can't, do, can't stop being an idiot. He's an idiot, man. My like, nigga, you can't stop smoking weed. And here's the thing, y'all. The man gets good jobs. It's not like this nigga working at like a a, a, a warehouse job. And this nigga gets really good government jobs and can't keep them motherfuckers because he don't know how to, his priorities fucked up. And I get so tired of people telling me, oh, that's their father. You should respect their father. Bullshit. Why am I supposed to respect the man that don't take care of his kids? Where they do that at? Nigga, my brother don't take care of his kids the way he supposed to, and I be in his ass every time I talk to him. I ain't finna show no man no respect that don't take care of their kids. Well, what's, what's the respect? Please tell me, what's to respect? If a man not taking care of his priorities, taking care of his kids, I'm having to do his job. I'm having to unfuck all the things that he's fucked up. Cars getting repoed. I got to unrepo them. Garnishments. I got to make sure. Man, come on, man. I can keep going on and on. What it is, bro, you thought Trisha was going to sit up and be lonely for the rest of her life. You thought she was going to go get a motherfucking cat and dog and, and, and sit up and and and, 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 and thought she was just going, oh, he'll come around. Bro, you not that. You not that. No woman on this planet finna wait for you. You not that, bro. No. And like I said, bro, quit with the Diddy shit, bro. Because like I said, I really know who you are. I really know who you are. And live your truth, man. Ain't nobody mad. I love everybody. I don't care what you do. Uh, I, I love everybody equally. Live your truth, though. Don't try to pass that shit on me, though. 
And here's the thing, buddy. If you thought I was on that type of weird type of time and you ain't came over here and put your motherfucking foot down, you was a hoe. You was a whole hoe. Because hear me out. Alex mama know. Alex mama know. Alex was see, for all of y'all that don't know, I don't got no biological kids. This nigga try to use it. You, 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 he try to use all that. Oh, he can't have kids and shit, bro. That shit never has hurt me, bro. That shit has never been a something that I set up every day and be like, damn, I can't have kids. I, you don't even know that just because I don't, because I'm responsible and I ain't got a bunch of goddamn baby mamas. You trying to pick? Hey, bro, that don't hurt my feelings. That don't hurt my the steroids jokes. That don't hurt my feelings, bro. My dick work good. Ask Trisha. That bitch work real good. Trust me. That's why she ain't went nowhere in almost three years. But at the end of the day, bro, you keep trying to make these, these weird ass accusations, bro. And people, I really know, nigga. Like, I really, I really know what you be on. I ain't never, I ain't never, ever, every time we tried to have a talk, black. All the situations with every conversation we don't try to we 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 don't try to have. We have a conversation, then you go back and be like, I still don't like that nigga. I still don't like that fuck nigga. And on TV and shit, and you in the car crying, fuck. I lost my family, fuck. Nah, nigga. You was a hoe. That's all it is. You a crybaby ass, hoe ass dude. And I feel, I actually feel sorry for them, bro. Cause this is, if, if, if I wouldn't have came in the picture, bro, it ain't no telling what type of shit they be on. Zarya know what a man like. I teach Zarya every day, bro. Don't settle for no fuck niggas. Don't fall for that. Don't fall for fuck niggas. She can't touch no doors. Don't open no damn door. I got the door. I cater to her needs. I cater to her wants. I cater to everything. So all of y'all that be on that fuck shit talking about some, oh, you shouldn't hug that man's daughter. You should, man, I'm her father. You don't tell me what to do under my motherfucking roof. Y'all can't, it, it's crazy because y'all motherfuckers sit up here and talk all this shit. Respect that man. No, I don't respect no man that don't take care of his kids, bro. No man, none, family, friend, or foe. You don't take care of your kids, you get no respect from me. But here's the thing, bro. Me and Trisha don't ask this dude for shit. In the beginning, I stayed in my place. You know, I used to let Trisha be like, oh, I'm going to call their dad and see if their dad can help him. Okay, cool. I got you. I, I'm going to let him I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him do his thing. Disappointment after disappointment after disappointment after disappointment. One time, man, here's, the, here's some crazy shit. One time, Xavier wanted some shoes. Buck 50. Wasn't even a whole bunch of money. Wasn't even a whole bunch of money. Oh, I ain't, I, I ain't got it right now. Look on the internet. This nigga in Miami doing a wild tussy in the goddamn video. Come on, bro. But you, but you, but, but you can't, you can't do the simple things. Like you can't, you can go to Miami with your boys. You can go out the country with your boys. You can do all this shit with your boys. And here's the thing. I can't make this shit up. It's on the internet. You know what they call that? A dead beat, bruh. Dead beat. Dead beat. Of course, you can't. Like, Xavier, I, I feel sorry for Xavier. I love Xavier, bruh. Xavier is a really good guy. I tell Trisha all the time. Xavier is probably, if I could, if at 18, I could have been any kid. And I'm not just saying that because he lives up under my house. Xavier is a great kid. Don't got to tell him to go to work. Ain't got to make, make him, ain't got to make him go to school. Ain't got to make him do his work. Ain't got to make him do nothing. Started his own business without none of our help. Did everything. I done taught this man how to fix brakes. He know how to work on cars. He know, that's me. But all you do is sit up and talk shit about the man that's literally creating the man in your son that he's turning out to be. Bro, come on, man. At some point, we got to get to the point to where this shit is, 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 bro, you too old, bro. You too old to be going to this social media shit. I feel like a lame doing this shit right now. Right now. But this is the only effective communication. This is the only thing you like to do. 
You like to come to social media. You like to come and talk about me. Diddy, 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 bro. Stop with the diddy shit because you really the diddler. Like real talk. Not just you. Trust me, I know a lot. So stop playing, Brody. Stop playing with that, go that goofy ass shit. Leave that goofy ass shit for somebody else. If you're going to talk about me, talk about the facts. Talk about the fact that I take care of your fucking kids. Talk about the fact that since I've been around, bro, you have been worthless. You won't help us do shit. You ain't did nothing. The one time you came to Zarya event, you was fucking late and you stayed six minutes down the road. And still were late. And tried to, tell, and tried to lie and say Trisha told you the wrong fucking time. I seen the text. I know. Trisha don't got, here's the thing, bro. I used to have to tell Trisha all the time. Trisha tried to force you in their lives. Tried to force you to do, tried to always, that's why it's bogus. You talking about Trisha kept you, keep you from your kids. That's a goddamn lie. I used to have to tell Trisha, you can't force them kids in his life. If he want to be there, he going to be there. They kids. They not supposed to make contact with him. He's supposed to make the contact. They not supposed to check on him. He's supposed to check on them. Bro, this shit lame, Marquez. This shit lame, bro. We shouldn't have to keep doing this. Bro, we shouldn't have to keep doing this. All this lame ass shit. You talk about want to be a, a successful, be a celebrity, or be famous, Marquez. Here's a little bit of info about me. Even before this show, even before me and Trisha, bro, I was the man. I've been the man. Traveling the world, living in other countries, doing my motherfucking thing, bro. Been had a bag. Been had it all. So stop with the, uh, uh, I want to be famous shit, bro. None of this shit, if it was not around, I'd still be that nigga. Point blank, period. Bro, this shit helping you. And, I'm in, and, and, and in the beginning, I said it. I said, shit, damn, this will help you get your shit going. You cook. They say you a cook. Why you ain't promoting that shit? You a music manager? Why you ain't promoting that shit? All you doing up is sitting up and talking about me. All you do is sit up and talk about me. You don't say nothing. You don't get on the, you don't get on TV or get on the internet and say nothing productive. All you do is sit up and talk about me. I don't like you, man. I, I ain't, and this nigga said the shit on TV. Oh, I don't come, I ain't come around. You know, I don't like seeing his car when I pull up in the driveway. What? Say what? You don't like seeing my car? And you so stupid. You telling people I bought your son a car. Nigga, you ain't doing nothing but giving me props. I let him have the car that I already had. So you telling him I bought him a car, you, your goofy ass ain't doing nothing but make me look even better. Why you trying to talk shit about me? I'm going to tell you what the problem is. Bro, you have never been a man. You've never been a man. Trisha had to be the man. That's why Trisha's so fucking hard and masculine right now. And that's why I'm having to every day get her to unlearn the bullshit she learned with your pussy ass. That's why I'm trying to get her in a safe space. That You said it the other day. She in her soft girl area, right? You noticed that, right? Yeah, that's because of me, Brody. That's because of me. That's because of me. That's because of me. I created that safe space. She don't got to worry about nothing. She ain't got to worry about walking through the house, find a paraphernalia. The kids, look, find, a pair, uh, find a paraphernalia. She ain't got to worry about none of that, Brody. All she got to do is wake up. <laughs> Walk her fine ass to that car and go to work. That's all she got to do. That's it. While your pie ass sitting in Atlanta talking shit about us all day. Uh, uh, Miss Rollins, yes, they're divorced. Yes, the divorce is final. Shiny or Rollins, Rollins, yes, they're divorced. Yes. The problem is, is y'all only see what these motherfuckers put out. Y'all don't see, this real life. This real life, real life, 
And I've been quiet for too fucking long, man. Y'all y'all don't understand. Like, bro, I don't really like doing this shit. I don't really like getting angry. I love to be happy. I done, did, I done been through enough shit in my life. I served eight years in the damn military. Been to Iraq and Afghanistan. I done had to be around shit that I truly didn't want to be around. I, and here's the thing about that whole, this is why I take that Diddy shit serious. I've been, I was molested as a kid. I was molested as a kid. So I don't play with that Diddy shit, that weird talk. I don't play about that. Because if I felt for any reason my kid was in that type of danger, nigga, I'm going to burn some shit up. And I'm going to take the consequence. I'm going to take the consequence. Ain't nobody going to be around my kid. I feel like on some weird shit. So that just show how pie you even, how much more pie you are if you feel like that's what I'm on. Bro, just stop getting on the internet talking, bro. One thing about it is, niggas, you can't demean me. Everybody who know, everybody who matter know what's up. They know what's real. They know I'm the man. You the only one sitting up trying to talk bad about me to motherfuckers that don't matter. Them little weirdos you hang around, them little weirdos you got writing me from fake pages and shit. Bro, y'all corny. Get a job. Get some business. Get something. Do something with yourself. Worried about me ain't going to get you no money. And you want to keep talking about some having, having money don't make it. Bruh, whoever said having money made you a father? No, taking care of your fucking responsibilities, dude. And that's what I do. That's what I do. Because your kids don't need or want for shit ever. Ever. Not one time in this whole three. This going on three years. Not one time. Not one time. Have they went without anything when it came to me? They ask your ass. They know. They don't even ask you for shit no more. They know not to. Even They know not to even look your way. I sit up here and let you disrespect me and you talk shit about, and here's another thing I ain't going to respect. You sitting up here talking bad about the mother of your own fucking kids. Well, I'm going to respect that either. You had everybody thinking when Trisha clapped on your ass that she started it, but you forgot about the post you made that we didn't even know nothing about. I just happened to get on my goddamn Instagram and see that you tagged us in a post talking about, first off, fuck the bitch and the click you claim. Bro, first of all, you lame. Because you won't say that to my face. You do that shit in controlled environments. Environments where you know I ain't going to do shit. Like at her dance recitals when you made that big fucking fuss like an idiot. On stage. On camera. Because you feel safe. But you won't walk up my fucking driveway in real life. If you think that I'm at home, nigga, you won't even come by there. You just said a couple weeks ago, I ain't coming over there if that nigga over there. Yo, scary ass. You sit up here and do all that shit, bro. And you a crybaby. All you do is cry. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Yo, stupid ass. Fuck. Fuck. Get the fuck out of here, dude. That fake ass shit. You thought you thought Trisha, you thought Trisha was gonna sit up and get a cat and dog. That's what you thought. You thought you was gonna be able to run around, fuck off, do all that little lame ass shit you be doing. And you thought she was gonna you thought she was gonna sit at home and, and, and be that, that wife waiting on you in the motherfucking apron at the door, waiting for you. You crazy as hell. Do you know who your ex-wife is? She's a motherfucking gangster, nigga. She's a motherfucking gangster. She just had to realize that for herself and let your stupid ass go. And when she met me, that was all she needed to do, my boy. She met me, <laughs> it was out the door. She ain't think twice. She ain't think twice. You keep talking all this shit, bro. Like, I don't understand. You should be thanking me, bro. You should really be thanking me. Like, nigga, I don't do nothing to you. I don't really do shit to you. I don't talk about you. I don't talk to you. 
And for all y'all that think that I'm supposed to stay silent, fuck y'all. Y'all can get off my shit. If y'all don't like what I say, get the fuck off my page. I didn't ask y'all to come to my page. But the same thing y'all telling me to do, y'all need to go tell that fuck nigga to do it. Tell him to quit talking about the man that's taking care of his kids. How about y'all go do that? That makes the most sense because it ain't a woman on this motherfucking page. I guarantee you right now, if you got a deadbeat baby daddy, you at that nigga neck every day. Every day. So shut the fuck up talking to me. If you got a deadbeat baby daddy, you at that man neck every day. So to try to tell me, why are you talking about him? Why you, man, you crazy, you stupid. You stupid. Get on. Ain't nobody asked y'all to come here. But if you think I'm going to keep turning the other cheek and being disrespected when I'm doing, when I'm taking care of the man's responsibilities, fuck no. You crazy as hell. Y'all bogus as hell if y'all think that. Take y'all old asses to sleep. It ain't nothing but a bunch of old ass miserable people. All y'all old, divorced, and know that baby daddies, baby daddies ain't take care of y'all kids. Y'all think that I'm supposed to be cool with him talking bad about me. I'm supposed to be quiet and respect him when he disrespecting me. That shit's stupid. That makes absolutely no sense. Take y'all old asses to sleep with that. It's nine o'clock anyway. No half of y'all AARP about to run out. Get the fuck on crazy as hell you think i'm gonna keep being silent about goddamn somebody they talking about you crazy as hell get the fuck on i'm not i don't need y'all support y'all ain't gonna stop no show nothing <laughs> hell yeah Chay, go watch well what what the, the story now nah, they like to watch the stories at the world turn goddamn that that old shit bro get the fuck out of here bro all y'all old ass motherfuckers sitting on here, you should be more respectful. Bro, tell your, next time you get into it with your goddamn child father, say the same thing. When that man don't come through like he's supposed to, remember, y'all telling me to be quiet. Y'all be quiet. Let that man live. Let him be a deadbeat in peace. Don't say nothing else. Let him be a deadbeat in peace. Well, y'all motherfucking crazy, man. I sit up here every day, mind my own motherfucking business. And y'all telling me to be quiet. You mad. Hell yeah, I'm mad. Nigga, I do too much to be too damn to dealing with this bullshit. Hey, Miss Rose, my younger, I'm 38 years old, by the way. I'm not as young as y'all think y'all are. And since y'all know so much about our lives, y'all sit up on these platforms and think y'all know everything about what we got going on. Bruh, go to sleep. Like I said, go to sleep. Just go to sleep, ma'am. You probably finna go to sleep with your dog and your cat. Or you probably got one of yeah, you probably got one of them goddamn soccer balls with, with eyes and lips rolled on them like 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 Ford Gump did, goddammit. Like, bruh, y'all y'all kill me. Just because y'all went through some fuck shit don't mean everybody got everybody gonna ain't gotta be cheating. Everybody ain't gotta be a bad girl. And and, and what y'all gotta understand is I'ma come for my woman every time. You talk shit about my woman, I'm coming at your neck every time, every time, every time. You don't want me to say nothing to you. Don't say nothing to me. Don't talk about my woman. I'm gonna defend my woman. That's how I know a lot of y'all ain't got no niggas. A lot of y'all ain't got no real men in y'all lives. Didn't have no daddies. Because y'all so quick to talk shit, but then when a nigga say something back to y'all is, you a man, you shouldn't be doing that. No, your, your mama, your daddy should have taught you better. Your daddy should have told you not to step, step up to a man if you ain't want to be treated like a man. Y'all some miserable old hags. Go take them teeth out and take them wigs off and go to sleep. Jesus. Y'all the same ones that be in church on Sundays with them big ugly ass hats on, praising the Lord, and then get out of that motherfucker and start acting like you ain't got no damn sin. You met the right one, though. Because I'm going to come at your neck. I respect my elders, but I'm also an adult. So if you want respect, you got to give me respect. Don't come for me if you don't want me coming for y'all.
in here with them synthetic ass wigs on. Get the hell out of here. Talking all that shit. It ain't, it, it's crazy because the women, I say from the ages of 40 and below, they feel me. You old motherfuckers be crazy. Y'all got that old mentality like y'all y'all so used to goddamn granddaddy and, 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 and Uncle John goddamn being be, having a family on the other side, this side and that side, and you spoke no, that's not it's 2024. We we not doing that no more. Oh yeah, man, y'all kill me with that shit. Why the hell would I ever respect somebody that don't respect me? And don't take care of their kids. I don't think y'all keep understanding. They don't, he don't take care of his kids. And for the person that made the comment, you must be the daddy. Hell yeah, I'm the daddy. I'm the father. There's a difference. I'm the father. Anybody can be a daddy. A real nigga gotta be a father. I ain't had no, my daddy died when I was nine years old. So one of the things I always told myself, if I ever had the chance to be in a kid's life, I was going to be the best version of a father I possibly could fucking be. Whether it was my kids, whether it was somebody else's kids. And y'all corny as hell. Y'all ladies who be talking all that shit corny as hell. Because if you get with a man right now you gonna, and you got kids, you're going to expect that man to take care of them kids. If y'all are, are, are have a serious relationship and y'all plan on getting married and doing shit like that. Your kids is a package deal. So stop that lame ass shit. Y'all get on social media and just start talking out them raggedy ass weeds. Stop. Always a bunch of big over. Trisha is taking clients right now. Man, y'all better stop, man. Cause like I said, bro, I'm a good ass dude. I don't, I don't mess with nobody. I don't, I don't, I don't cause no issues. You know. I tend to try to make peace with everything, but I'm not finna keep being a peacemaker with somebody that don't want to make peace. What? Miss Bowden, I ain't say everybody. What I'm saying is, is most of the women on my live or on my page who have the most to say, the old ass AARP having ass, need to go to dialysis looking ass women. That's it. That's it. The younger women understand. Because a lot of y'all, y'all, a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all understand what it's like to have a nigga that don't take care of y'all kids, bro. A lot of y'all understand. A lot of y'all know what it's like to not have a dependable man when it comes to trying to raise a son, when it comes to trying to raise your nephews, when it comes to trying to do things that you need to do, uh, that, 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 that need to do, need to do with kids. Hey, Miss Rose, tomorrow, like, if you don't like it, you can go. What's not a good look? Go over there to his page and tell him that. It's not a good look not to take care of your kids, Miss Rose. It's not a good look not to take care of your kids. That's not a good look. That's what y'all, y'all be worried about the wrong shit. The shit I say shouldn't matter. Him not taking care of his kids is all that should matter. Like, that shit crazy. Miss Jordan, you know I ain't talking about you, sweetheart. You know I love you. I, hey, hey, Miss Jordan. What you doing? You just, Miss Jordan, you just got some people that's around there in your age range that still ain't grew up yet. I don't know what's going on. They, they, they should act a whole lot better than they are. Them, they old enough to be our mamas and they old enough to be our dad and mamas and, and grandmas and they acting crazy. Miss Jordan, you know I ain't talking about you, sweetheart. You know I love you. I, hey, hey, Miss Jordan. What you doing? You just got some people that's around there in your age range that still ain't grew up yet. I don't know what's going on. They, they, they should act a whole lot better than they are. Them, they old enough to be our mamas and they acting crazy. Miss Jordan, you know I ain't talking about you, sweetheart. You know I love you. I, hey, hey, Miss Jordan. What you doing? You just got some people that's around there in your age range that still ain't grew up yet. I'm, I'm a man. I do my thing. You know me. You know what's up. I ain't never been no lame ass nigga. I gotta be all loud. Gotta be all, you know, raw, raw. Gotta let everybody know. People know because they know. I ain't gotta say shit. Nothing. People respect me off the strength of my character. They respect me off the strength of who I am. 
the type of dude I am, the type of the, the type of guy that 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 that, that, I'm, that I that I one hundred percent portray on all the bases. I don't, I don't, I don't got no time to be goddamn going back and forth. When I, like I try to talk to the dude one on one. It's always some, you yeah, understand, I understand. And then as soon as the nigga leave this, man, I still don't like that nigga. And here's the crazy part. I say the shit to the kids. I ain't never talk bad about them kids to them kids. I'm talking about bad to, about them dad, they dad to them kids, bro. Never. That's some crazy ass shit. You leave kids out of grown up shit, bro. That's how I was raised. Nigga, you couldn't even come in the kitchen or in the living room when grown ups were talking when I was growing up. So we damn sure weren't in the mix, in the conversations. Hey, miss, look, at the end of the day, the kids know that their father don't do what they supposed to do. Y'all keep talking about they will see this social media, but y'all not talking about the fact that they see that their daddy don't take care of them every day. They don't care. What, do y'all really think that people pay attention to the shit that y'all talk about? No, they pay attention to the shit that they see on a regular basis. Regular, every day, habits. The habits that we, are, that, that we have become accustomed to. My habit is continuing to be a good guy. His habit is not being there. That's what they pay attention to. Y'all keep talking about they gonna see this shit and they gonna see it and I'm gonna go in the house and they still gonna dap me up and we still gonna wake up tomorrow and we still gonna be a gang. So shut up. Like I said, next time your baby daddy don't come through like he's supposed to, cut him some slack like you telling me to do it. Cut him some slack. Cutting some sight. That is how it works. I've been, I got, I got, I've been raising multiple kids for a long time. Y'all just stuck in the old times. Y'all gotta unlearn that bullshit we learned growing up. These kids, they, they social media. All they see is social media. We gotta fight every day trying to talk them to guess what they learn on social media. Get on with that bogus ass shit. Like I said, if you want to be a defender, go defend them. Go, 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 go defend me and tell that nigga to stop talking about the man that actually takes care of his responsibilities. Hey, Sinitra, I know that. What are, well, I don't understand what, what was the point of you saying that. Here's the thing, Miss, 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 what is it, Classic Closet? I never tried to make this dude look bad. It's not my intentions to try to make anybody look bad. My only intentions is, nigga, do your job. Come help. Come assist us in something. Come do something. Come do something. Hey, Sinitra, you can get off my live if you want to go. What is you trying to cause a problem for? This ain't got nothing to do with you. Like, blood don't make you family. I don't give a fuck what, whose kid, who had the kids. Like, what? It take a village. That's one thing y'all don't forgot. It take a village to raise kids. And that's why y'all so fucked up in the head about how it goes when it comes to raising kids. Because y'all ain't got no village. Nigga ain't gotta be blood to raise no kids. Nigga, I had a stepdaddy. My stepdaddy did a damn good job when my dad passed. I did not disrespect him because he wasn't my real father. Like, that don't even make no sense. That shit crazy. Bro, you not telling me nothing. Shanisha, I'm the one on the show. I know what's going on. You, you the one that don't understand. You the one trying to come in here and get your two cents, man. Go on about your business, man. You trying to tell me something that you don't know nothing about. Nigga, if I was with you, I'd have to take care of your kids too. It'll be the same shit. Y'all expect, y'all ain't gonna get with no nigga that don't take care of your kids. Fuck out of here. Biological father or not, I still have to take care of your kids. Ain't no woman on this goddamn planet finna get with no dude and be like, hey, we can fuck off, but you ain't got to worry about my kids, though. That's bullshit. Shut up.
She got to be trolling, bro. She might be drinking or something. Bro, I was raised on love. And my folks was there. Like, I don't know. I don't know what this new shit is y'all got going on. But, hey, it take a village. It take everybody. The uncles, the aunties, the cousins, brothers, sisters. Nigga, I had to be a grown man at an early age when my father passed. It wasn't until my father, stepfather and my cousin came around to help me. My mama. Bro, that shit was rough. That shit was rough. Bro, crashing out. Uh, man, y'all, I think a lot of y'all getting on here trolling. Y'all think because I'm talking loud with passion, I'm crashing out. Baby, I'm finna go home to a 4,000 square foot and a king size bed and sleep real good, Miss Redo. And you get your head redone. What the fuck is you talking about? I'm living good. I'm sitting in a motherfucking car that costs more than anything you got. You think I'm crashing? I'm not crashing out. I'm just defending myself against a nigga that keep talking shit about me. And I'm doing his job. Go to fucking sleep. That big ass middle part in your head. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, like I said, all you old motherfuckers is past your bedtime. If y'all don't want to hear what I got to say, y'all can get the fuck off the line. Here's the thing. I never understood this. I never understood. I've never, hold on. I've never went to somebody's page. I've never in my life went to a page and was like, I don't like this nigga. I don't like nothing he say. I don't like nothing he do. But I'm going to comment on everything he goddamn say. I'm going to goddamn send him a friend request. I'm going to goddamn watch everything he posts. That has to be the most insane, retarded shit I ever heard in my life. That's got to be the craziest shit. Hey, Trisha can afford anything you can, you, you everything you got, two, three times. And y'all calling her a man, this is the crazy thing about it. She looked ten times better than all you bitches that call her ugly. Come on, man. Y'all stop. Y'all wake up in the mirror and look, and y look at y'all selves every day and put 72 goddamn shades of makeup on. Put them ugly, that ugly ass wig that you got on and, 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 and make yourself feel like you pretty. But in real life, you don't feel that way. You hurting inside. That's why y'all come to social media and talk. And this is my point. Y'all coming to my page talking shit about me instead of going and tell that nigga, hey, go take care of your kids. Hey, Ryan, man, it's just a couple old, old hags. You know how old hags be. The same old hags in here talking shit. I ain't never touched a man like me. But, but, but dream of the day of a nigga even walking past they ass like me. Fuck out of here. I'm supposed to keep being quiet. If y'all keeping up with this shit, this dude been talking about me and Trish for weeks. For weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. And now I gotta shut up. Fuck out of here. Go drink y'all motherfucking eggnog and go to goddamn bed, bro. Y'all leave me alone. This is out of y'all motherfucking goddamn. Hey, this out of y'all age gap. We 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 a couple decades apart. Y'all got y'all ain't gotta talk about. Y'all y'all can get on. Thanks, Miss Florence. I know Trish beautiful. All these women talk about she ugly. Bro, come on, man. I told a lady the other day, she looked like my granddad. She calling Trish ugly. And now she wants the show to get canceled. They'll come come for you as soon as you say something. Now you the goddamn bad guy. Hey, Renzo, we got a couple bottles of in, uh, we got a couple bottles of eggnog in our refrigerator. I don't know what you talking about. Better go to Publix. They got that purity in. They got that purity out right now. I, got, I just went and bought Trisha two of them. But we be mixing that. You got to mix. What we be putting with it? The Honey Jack. Eggnog with Honey Jack. Well, she put me on that shit. That shit's so good.
That what I'm saying, Ryan. How y'all gonna defend a nigga that don't take care of their kids? That's bogus. And it's women. It's women. Women. That's crazy. It's full grown ass women with baby. I'm pretty sure that most of them got baby daddies. You know, because they more you. I, I tend to. I tend to. I, I tend to put two and two together. Most of the time, when they come. I go look, they all single, divorced, ain't got no man, or nigga look horrible. You know, they settled, they had to, you know, they had to settle for just, you know, somebody to have in their space because that was about best they could do. But you can't tell me that a man not taking his kid, care of his kids is going to be acceptable in any of their households. That's crazy. And to keep thinking that I'm supposed to be quiet? And keep letting somebody talk bad about me. Y'all bogus as hell. Being not being a biological father don't mean shit. Y'all stupid. Most of y'all was raised by a nigga that wasn't biologically your father. Go take a DNA test. Shit, they said Papa was a Rolling Stone shit. Mama was out here tooting that ass up too. That's why they say now today, 36% of the kids being born today. Born to a nigga that's not biologically the father. So, hey, y'all might want to check that shit. Hey, pretty brown. Hell no, nah, they won't. I guarantee you they won't. I guarantee you they won't. They gonna think they ran in the motherfucking Ali. They run up on her like with that bullshit. Everybody want to get on. Here's the crazy thing about it. I always say this. Social media, Instagram, Facebook, all these platforms is nothing more than a than a than a than an opportunity for people who have a lot of negative shit going on in their lives to hide it and get on here and act like they perfect they will throw stones at everybody else and don't realize them bitches gonna boomerang because they the ones living in the glass house they the ones trying to goddamn like throw off all they negative shit that they got going on all, on, on 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 other people but if you think I'm going to keep being quiet, bro, I've been quiet long enough, man. I've been quiet long enough. Y'all ain't seen me on no whole bunch of podcasts. Tell me one more. One Outside of the goddamn Dr. Heavenly, outside of I've been on a fitness podcast, and I've been on a, like three podcasts. Y'all ain't seen me on the internet constantly bashing this, man. Y'all ain't seen me on no lives constantly bashing this, man. Only thing I post is me and Trisha, gym shit, and our trips. Y'all ain't seen me. Y'all ain't seen me. I post gym pics, gym photos, trips, and, and me and Trish. That's it. But the first time I post some shit in defense of myself, now I'm the bad guy. Why? Because I'm 6'2", 240 and big and black. I can't help dude was born and didn't grow. I can't help that. I can't help he stop growing in the fifth grade. That's not my fault. It's not my fault, people. Y'all old motherfuckers crazy if y'all y'all sitting on here capping. You laying in the bed with that crusty ass wig sitting on your dresser with them goddamn rollers in your head capping. Cause you know real life. Man, you don't believe in that shit. You you y'all yeah. Hey, somebody said y'all was some millimeters. They might be right. And ain't nothing against Melanie, because I feel like Melanie is a good person. I don't know nothing about her. But they hurt them fans of yours. Oh, y'all some weirdos. Like, real talk. But here's the thing. Ain't nothing y'all say, nothing y'all do going to stop what me and Trisha got going, bro. We that. We that. We, we didn't ask for none of this shit. We ain't asked for none of it. A lot of y'all like to throw that immature shit out there too, and being immature and childish. Y'all do realize that yourself is in the same boat by getting on a post that you really don't care for. That shows lack of maturity too, because like you can easily just, they got buttons where you can go block, delete, 
They even got a little shit where it says like, I don't want to see this on my feed. You can go hit the button and it won't pop up on the, on your feed. I miss Redo. Even if Martell and Trisha fuck, it was before me. Why the fuck would I be mad about some shit that happened before me? That's how I know you trolling, you retard. Why would I be mad about some shit that happened before me? I ain't never gonna be mad about no what no nigga did and no woman did. They grown ups. The fuck is wrong with y'all? Y'all want me to be mad about some shit I ain't had nothing to do with? Try again now. Try again. Try again. She mine now. So whatever she did before me, I could give two fucks. She's mine now. He ain't fucking now. And he didn't even do shit. It's been said multiple times that they didn't fuck. How y'all come up with y'all own idea of the things that's going on based off snippets of videos. Girl, come on, what the fuck? Why do y'all want me to be mad about that? I am very secure in my manhood. I have a, I've had a lot of women myself. So I can't be mad about a man having a woman in, in, in a time that I was not there. Like, what, what, like, why would y'all want me to be mad about some shit that happened well before me? That just shows y'all's lacking maturity. Y'all ain't grew yet. Y'all insecurity show. <laughs> Redo, go change your pamper. Yeah, she definitely need to go change her pamper. Like, her trying to throw shades about Martell, but, like, that shit real crazy because, like, so the fuck what? It was before me. If it did happen, if it was to have happened, Miss Anderson, yes, trust me. Me and Trisha are definitely getting married. That is definitely going to happen. She's divorced now. So we can move forward with everything that we want to do. The two businesses that we starting together, this house that we got down planning on getting built together, everything. Like, we not worried about dude. We trying to live life. But you're not going to keep coming for me and think I'm going to just keep being quiet. You want to goddamn keep poking, keep poking, here I go. This is what he wanted. I'm giving him what he wanted. Dear Re Talk Show. Yeah, here you go. How did I get her the wrong way? They had been separated. And there's another thing that you motherfucking angry ass broads are getting on here capping about. A lot of y'all have been married and a lot of y'all have moved on before y'all divorces were final. Stop the cap. That's like in the black community, that's like normal. A lot of y'all move on. Be Matter of fact, a lot of y'all be done moved on in the marriage. Why y'all still living together? So stop. Stop coming on these platforms capping. Y'all fucking fake, bro. Y'all so fake. And y'all with these weak ass, no view ass, two follower having ass podcasts, bro. Y'all need to get the hell on. Y'all bet nobody. Y'all post all this shit all day and get four views. Don't nobody watch y'all shit. Fuck out of here. I got her the wrong way. If that we I just think y'all know what we got going on and don't really know. Y'all watching the show too much. Y'all not really keeping up with what happens in real life. <laughs> you think I'm mad because I'm talking loud? I don't laugh a million times. Y'all so corny. Y'all can't hit none of my nerves, bro. I got, I, I, like... Like, in reality, I'm happy. I'm real happy. Y'all stupid if y'all think I'm bothered. <laughs> like, the one thing I am bothered by is that nigga not taking care of his kids. That's the only thing I'm bothered by. Is the fact that I, I he won't take care of his kids. That's what bothers me. Yeah, exactly. He left on his own. Nobody made him leave. He left. It don't matter what you can tell. I'm telling you, I'm not bothered, man. You can sit up here with your goddamn you, with your goddamn, where your neck at? Lift up. All these goddamn head and shoulder pics. Lift up. Do this. Goddamn, get your old ass on. Why the hell would I be mad because somebody kids still love them? Hey, dear read, 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 talk show. You sound real ignorant. I've never talked that man, them kids against that man. They they supposed to still love their dad. You goofy as hell. But guess what? They love me too. And they know who the man is. Yeah, they supposed to love their goddamn father. What the fuck? You stupid. Shut up. 
Redo. You need to redo something else. Pick another goddamn occupation because the podcast shit ain't for you because you slow. Hey, who is this, bro? She so. I told you. Motherfuckers be old enough to be my damn mama. Thank you, Miss Wit. Did she date the bothered ones? Get on my live if you don't want to hear what I'm talking. That's what I'm saying. You don't even have to listen to me. And I told y'all, all you big, big double back having ass motherfuckers, Trisha is taking clients. 24E. Cause boy, some of y'all look like y'all like this close to goddamn a motherfucking heart attack right now on this damn live. So now you pulling this why I'm not in the house. <laughs> Bruh, fuck out of here. Hmm. Nah, Miss Florence, 100%. Most of these women wish they had a guy like me. But the fact is, is they not worthy. Most of them ain't worthy. Most of them don't have, don't, like, that's why they gonna have that goddamn soccer ball with the eyes and the face on it. Castaway dog. Ain't, ain't, what they, ain't that what the movie was called? Castaway. Yanni, don't nobody want, definitely don't want to look like your ass. <laughs> hey, Bree, I swear to God, I was the quiet one at first. Now when I'm giving them that shit, now they want to be mad. That's what I'm saying, bro. These fuckers, these motherfuckers old enough to be my grandma. They shouldn't even be, they shouldn't even be on this internet right now. It's 930. You know you got to get up at dialysis at 430. Get your ass off the internet. Motherfucker probably looking at this shit on a flip phone. Get on. Hey Ron, this is a twenty, this a twenty nineteen Grand Sport Corvette with the red seats. Man, I'm about to get off here in a minute. I got to go tend to some shit. But yeah. Hey, Royal. You know that. Hey, bro, these old ass ladies, man. And this is the thing, Royal. If I walked up on one of these old ladies' ass right, right now, they'll lose their goddamn mind. Because it'd be the same ones on here talking that shit that when they see us in public. Oh, Ken and Trish. Oh, my God. Hey, Amber, you know me, Miss Davis, you know me, you know I don't really, I don't really, got, you know me, you, if you, if anybody know me, you know me. These motherfuckers be pissing me off. I'm crashing now, bro, y'all, can y'all find, y'all gotta find something different to say in 2025. Crashing out is played out, narcissistic is played out, um, gaslighting is played out, um, like, I'm big and I'm black and I talk loud. Crashing out would be me beating his motherfucking ass. That would be me crashing out. Like, what? Because I'm on here talking, I'm crashing out. Go to sleep. Y'all mid as hell with them goddamn comments. That shit mid. Shit's not crashing out. I'm not, first of all, I'm not even upset. Y'all don't understand how. Y'all just don't understand when a nigga talk loud. Bro. My, my granddaddy talk loud. My daddy talk loud. I talk loud. Crashing out, I'm happy, bro. I got a pocket full of money. I got a big ass house, 
a beautiful ass woman I'm finna go to and a goddamn set of kids that love me to goddamn death. What the fuck do I need to crash out for? Like, what the fuck I need to crash out for? I got too much to lose to crash out. Way too much to lose. But y'all waking up gonna be y'all y'all yeah paycheck gonna be short. Y'all gonna be short on the rent. But y'all can sit up here and talk about us all day long. That's crazy. Hey, why is you still here, Nisha? If you don't agree with nothing, you you can like you can literally go. Like anybody I can I can personally do whatever I want to. Like it's 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 marketing. Just look at it like that. It's marketing. Y'all like drama. Here's the marketing. But if you don't want to listen to it, you don't have to hear it. Like you can easily un get off the live. Like literally, like I don't understand if I don't if I don't like some I don't put I don't go listen to it I don't. Oh my bad. I, see, I apologize, Miss Nisha. I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. See, self correction. I'm so sorry. I I, I just I seen Ken and I didn't. I'm so sorry, Miss Ken. I'm so sorry, Miss Nisha. Miss Nisha Wit White Wit. I'm sorry. But yeah. Um. Yeah. All right, I got you, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They like they could get off of here. I guarantee you, it is a bunch of bottom millimeters, though. I ain't cause I ain't gonna even lie to you. And them motherfuckers definitely probably got Melanie all over their damn page. And Melanie, cool ass woman, but she got some weird ass followers, bro. Trisha validates you, hon. I don't know if that's supposed to be negative or, but I'm going to take it as positive because she definitely represents me well. Her fine ass. Miss Matthews, millimeters, I guess, are, are, are Melanie's, her fan club or whatever the case that may be. Nah, hey, Miss Florence, I ain't going to block them because this is what them dummies fail to realize. The more they click on my page, the more they comment on my shit, that's money. Monetizing, all you, that's engagement. All I, You're helping me. You're hating on me and helping me at the same time. That's how sick some of you are. Miss Glaze, I didn't say all of y'all was, but a lot of them do be. That's just my, just my, from my uh, experience. Oh man. Hey Miss Matthews, I'm not sure why they would, but just from experience, a lot of them not just in my shit, they be on everybody's shit talking crazy. Like I think at some point every person on this show has had issues with her people. So, like I said, nothing against her, because Melanie is a great person. I don't know nothing. I don't know enough about her to speak bad on her. She's she's always been nice to me, but I do know that her fans, some of her fans, are insane. But this has been quite entertaining. As I said in the beginning, for those of y'all who missed it, this was my first live. I've never done this shit before in the history of me having Facebook. Um, yeah, it's just. God damn, Miss Glaze, I told you. I didn't say everybody. Why you keep Why did you? You must be one of her people. Did I hit a nerve? Did I strike a nerve or something? Like I answered that question like three times. Why you keep asking me that? I didn't say everybody was. I just said from experience, a lot of them be in our profile and our on our pages talking crazy. A lot of times it be those people. Damn, do I gotta say it a third, fourth, fifth time? First of all, Miss Parrish, I didn't bring them up. Somebody else brought them up and I responded to it. Like, the hell are you talking about? 
You must be one of them. That's why you won't hear. Like, what the hell? Camp Kenny, I like that. I Hey, I miss Pretty Brown Rat. I like that. Camp Kenny. This is going to be our sign. Camp Kenny. Nah, we got to do the chocolate emojis. Them The, the, the chocolate emoji is the emoji he hates the most. Y'all got to put the... Give me some chocolate emojis. That's what I need. Y'all going back and forth with each other now. What the hell? See, that's what I said, man. This crazy. Thank you, Miss Smith. Them chocolate emojis. Yeah, Miss Clark. I like that. All right, Miss Wit. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Hey, listen. At the end of the day, I ain't got nothing but love for everybody. Peace and love. I just want to be happy. I just want everybody to be happy. But until this other person can get on board... It's just going to take some time. But just know, I'm a great person to the kids. I'm a great person to Trisha. I, I, these kids, I treat, I love them as if they're my own. I don't have to have any kids biologically to love kids as my own. And it's not about the, 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 it's not about that word love. The love is an action. You show love by actually doing the things that you're supposed to do. Y'all heard that, right? Love is an action. It's an action. You show love by actually doing the shit that you're supposed to do, taking care of your priorities and doing the things that you're supposed to do. That's how you show love. You can, I can tell you I love you all day, but if I'm not showing it in action, then it, it, it is no real intentions behind it. That's what I, I think uh, like people just like to throw that word out there. They love their father. Yeah, they love their father, but do he love them? Because if he did, if he truly did, bro, Priority, 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 priority. The way you show love is by taking care of your priority. Trisha don't have to question my love. Xavier don't have to question my love. Zarya don't have to question my love. Alex don't have to question my love because I show in actions every day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They can call my phone and I. It, it is, it's rarely that I don't answer the phone. It's rare that I miss a text. It's rare that I miss an event. I can go, I'll go to goddamn uh, Alex's uh, cheerleading football games, Zarya's dance practice, anything I do it all in one, I don't miss nothing. That's how, it, I, that's how you show love, actions. Saying it ain't enough. It's just not enough. But listen. I love everybody. I love all y'all, even the ones that don't love me. See, that's the difference between me. I wish nothing but greatness for all you people, even the ones that don't like me. I don't, hey, I'm not missing my blessing by holding no grudge against y'all. I love everybody. But having the expectations of, 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 of thinking that I'm supposed to just sit around and, 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 and not say nothing with somebody that, nah. Nah. Especially not especially not when I'm doing your damn job, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. But yo. Let me get out this goddamn live and crawl my woman for she be cussing me out. I've been on this motherfucker for what is that? How long has it been? Two goddamn long. An hour and eleven minutes. Ooh. Alright, good people. I'll see y'all later. My next live ain't gonna be this bad, I promise you. I just had to get that shit off my chest. And to all you people who disagree, peace. I love you too. It is what it is. We can agree to disagree. We ain't got to agree about everything. But one thing we can do is y'all need to put some oil on them dry ass weed. Do that for me. Some oil on them weed. Make sure you go get that health checked out. Trisha taking clients too. Because health is wealth. Health is wealth. And some of y'all look like y'all damn it, y'all this close to the upper room, the upper room. But I, I miss redo. Have a good night, ma'am. Miss Kenya Burwell, redo. I love you. I love you. Peace, sister. Still love you. No matter how you feel about me, I still love you and wish nothing but the best for you. I promise I do.
And there you have it, guys. This ninja came after everybody. Content creator, podcast creator. Like, you a straight up loser. We hope not to see you back on our TV again. Like, how dare you try to bring us into y'all's mess? Y'all, hit like, comment, subscribe. I'll talk to y'all later. All right?